I don't know about you, but the vast array of charging cords for all of those devices sometimes feels overwhelming. Hi, I'm Nika Waters, and on today's episode of the Boat Galley Podcast, I'm going to share one of our favorite gadgets for trying to corral all of those pluggable cords. Today's episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by My Island Wi-Fi, your go-to source for secure Bahamas internet. Planning on a visit to the Bahamas and wanting the security of unlimited Wi-Fi? Look no further. Featuring monthly plans with no long-term commitment, My Island Wi-Fi offers unlimited 4G hotspot rentals with no hidden fees or throttling. Visit myislandwifi.com to reserve your device now. That's M-Y-I-S-L-A-N-D-W-I-F-I.com. My Island Wi-Fi, vacation without limits. Let's see. I think I've got a phone. Jeremy's got a phone. There's a Kindle. There's a little cube speaker that we like. Jeremy's got one iPad. There's another iPad we use for navigation. There's a third one that's available as a backup. I feel like there are a couple of other things that we plug in that I'm forgetting about right now, but that's an awful lot of charging cords to deal with. And on the boat, I want everything to be in one place. I also don't have that many plugs. I don't have that many places that I can plug things in and those little cube bricks that go right into the outlet. Can you imagine if I had to have one for every single one of those devices? And no, it's not that I need to be charging all of them all the time, but still, swapping out those cords, what a pain. We've discovered that much like you can have a power strip for regular plugs, there actually are power strip versions for USB charging cords. And the one that we have is called a FOTIV, P-H-O-T-I-V-E, and it lives on our the side of our bed, and we'll have some perfect spot on the boat once we move on to the boat, but it comes with us every time we go anywhere. When you have that and you've got a whole pack of extra charging cords, you can leave the cords, the USB ends plugged into that thing, and then when you need to plug in a device, in it goes. Ours, which is called a charging station, has six ports, and that is wonderful to have all of our things plugged in in one fell swoop. It's taking up just one of our outlets of which we don't have that many on the boat, but we can have all of our devices plugged in in one easy to find area. No hunting for a cord, no hunting for an open outlet, no hunting for a charging brick, but instead it all goes in one spot. It's a small gadget and it's made a huge difference in the ease with which we can charge all these devices that we tend to use all the time. So that means that when we share an anchorage somewhere, I'm not going to be tripping over cords as I'm trying to give you a boat tour. Thanks so much for listening to the Boat Galley podcast. We look forward to hearing from you with any questions or ideas, comments that you have about the podcast. There's a link to our emails in the show notes. 